What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's topic is going to be very different. We're going to talk about misinformation because there is a creator out there already influencing new players and his information is not 100% wrong, but he is spitting out some wrong things. Now, I have also been accused of misinformation, mainly because of my latest tier list video and people said I rated some weapons too high, some weapons too low, but that's just my personal experience and my opinion. Everything else I said about the weapons is 100% true. For example, the Ripper Mine layer i rated this thing really low i believe d tier because it's only useful in one single game mode and that is leviathan clan wars i don't see new players hopping into cross out just to play leviathan clan wars so that's why i rated the ripper a little bit lower because new players are not gonna have fun with rippers in pvp in normal clan wars and other types of brawls but in leviathan clan wars the rippers are a must-have and the same goes for the okari which is one of the new epic weapons that was added in a previous pack now i've been involved in cross out since the very beginning not only can i make videos about it and actually make a living of these videos it's not great but you know it's still a living but i also really love the game and i want to see the game grow i also want new players to join the game and have fun and not get misled by the wrong information now in his video he did not get everything wrong he started off really strong but after that he just lost me he was basically talking about upgrading your low tier items so if you take a look at the r2 chill radiator right now increases time until weapon is overheated by 50% and for shotguns 29% and if we look at the bigger bro the better version of it it increases the time to overheat by 70% and for shotguns 38% but if you have three R2 chills and you upgrade them you can have this thing and this thing increases the time until the weapon is overheated by 71% and for shotguns 41 and that is a little bit more than a normal epic version so that's good and he did a really good job with that because the R2 chill is a lot cheaper than one iron seal radiator and that advice that he gave there was good but he is new to cross out, so he does not know everything. And I can't blame him for that, but if you don't know everything, don't make beginner's tip or guide video. That's my opinion. And then he switched to cabins. He said you should upgrade your lower tier cabin first before going to a better rarity. And I completely disagree with that. Now, if you take a look at my inventory, I have a lot of upgraded items, but that's because I've been playing for years. I basically done everything in cross out or got everything in cross out that I already wanted. And then I said, you know what? Let's just upgrade them now. So that's what I'm doing this year. But before that, I was doing a lot more grinding just to get access to a lot of stuff because having more stuff is way more fun than having a few items that are upgraded. But that's just my opinion. I think that's a much better advice to give. But yeah, he went to the Growl Cabin and he mentioned that his version was upgraded for durability and that meant all of his build got 10% more durability, but that's not the case. The upgrades or the perks you get for an upgraded cabin only applies to that cabin. So if you get durability for the Growl Cabin, it only gives the cabin 10% more durability, not your whole build, not your weapons. That's what he thought, but he's got that wrong. My advice for new players is don't bother with upgrading your items. There are a few key items or modules that you do want to upgrade, and I'll cover those in a minute. But let's take a look at the Growl Cabin for a moment. Let's say I want to upgrade this one. All of these upgrades are random. You cannot select what you want unless the cabin is already fused, like I have over here. And let's say... I don't want mass limit anymore. I can lock negative mass in place and I can also lock self-destruction time in place. And then I would have to select two more growls and these are locked and it will randomize one of these. You cannot get the same upgrade twice in a row. What I mean by that, let's say I have these locked and let's say I want more power. If I upgrade it now, it can give me tonnage and then mass limit again and then tonnage again and then mass limit again and then tonnage again. And maybe after 10 tries, it'll give me power. And that's just a waste of money. So that's why I say don't bother with upgrading your items unless there is a fusion event. There was a fusion event like two weeks ago and it ended like two days ago. Unless there's a fusion event with specific fusions, it's not worth fusing randomly, except for a few parts. I'm going to show you that right now. Like you just saw, if I want to upgrade my cabin, I get a ton of random fusions. But for modules, it's a little bit different. For example, the R2 chill, if I want to upgrade this right now, I get a guaranteed radiator efficiency. That's not how all the parts work in this game. For some modules, you get just one guaranteed perk and that's really powerful. So for radiators, the blue radiator, the blue cooler also has the guaranteed efficiency perk. The purple radiator and the purple cooler also have a guaranteed efficiency perk. Weapons, for example, don't have the guaranteed perk option. You got reliability, you got power and handling. For generators, you only have reliability and power and you do not get a guaranteed perk as well. If I want to upgrade the gas generator right now, I'll get one of these 
these three random perks and one of these two random perks. Radar detectors also have a guaranteed fusion and that is mine detection radius, which is okay. What people really want from an upgraded radar detector is range of detection in cover because radar detectors can see enemies behind cover. And that's why radar detectors, especially the Epic version, the Doppler was always a very popular option to upgrade. Boosters, for example, also don't have a guaranteed perk. Ammo boxes used to give us a guaranteed fusion perk as well or upgrade perk but then later they added two other perks module explosion damage and radius so right now if i want to upgrade my ammo box i will get one random perk of this reliability and one random power perk so i would say for new players the best items to fuse early on is the blue cooler the blue radiator if you like to farm fuel the fuel tank as well it doesn't give you a guaranteed perk but it's cheap enough to do a few rerolls what you want to go for is either less mass or more durability and always try to go for less explosion damage because these things will pull up your built but if you have the less damage explosion perk on the fuel tank it will deal a lot less damage to your build and for the rest of the items you don't really need to worry about anything else the reload modules don't even have like a good perk only durability less mass and resistance you don't really need that that's kind of useless upgrading your engines will become important later on in the game for you right now just focus on the perks that the different modules give you that can give you an edge in the battlefield for example the colossus engine will increase the durability of all movement parts by 20 percent that's all you got to worry about as a new player don't worry about the extra perks that the upgrades give you the cheetah engine for example helps you to reload your modules and your drones a lot quicker don't worry about the other perks yet especially if you're new now the reason why i am mentioning all of this is because he said don't worry about the high tier stuff because that's not the most fun upgrade your low tier stuff and have fun at the lower power scores but personally for new players i would say try to get as many items as you can because that's the most fun in cross out having variety let's say your cannon build doesn't work tonight because there's a lot of people using machine guns tonight well just swap out to machine guns or a melee build and just have fun again that's that's what you want variety and cross out you don't want to focus on one specific weapon type you're gonna get bored really really fast okay now the next thing he mentioned that really made me cringe so he got access to a catalina cabin which he said was super expensive so what you should do as a new player, I don't know as a new player how you can get access to the Catalina cabin besides buying the pack. So what you should do as a new player is sell it and get two other epic cabins, which are a lot cheaper. Usually epic cabins go around 400 to 500 coins. So get three of them, fuse them or upgrade them. Fusing is upgrading by the way, and then get three random perks. He chose the Howl because the Howl gives you more damage if you're close to your enemies, but the Howl cabin is not that great. It's just bad and that is like the worst advice you could give a new player the catalina cabin is one of the best cabins in the game why would you sell it to f buy three other cabins to fuse them and this cabin is not even that great so he said a lot of crazy things that i do not agree with at all as a new player my god if you have the catalina cabin keep it it will never be bad just keep the catalina cabin now of course this is my opinion but I don't want new players to get hurt and waste their money and waste their time. If you have the Catalina cabin, my guy, keep it. Make builds around it. It's not the strongest thing in terms of durability, but the perk is one of the best in the game. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. I have nothing against the creator. He can make his crossout videos. I don't mind. But if you're trying to make guide videos and tips videos, don't give bad advice. I mean, Three Burgers, Cold Fire, Mr. G, they all did it really good. And all their advice was solid. So <laughs> I never had to make a video about this. But this guy is pretty influential. He has a much bigger channel than me. So in terms of YouTube, this guy might be a guru. But, you know, when it comes to cross out, I know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to see this game get hurt and people just waste their time and their money. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I do understand him. You know, having a build that is fully upgraded will definitely give you a bigger advantage in combat. For example, this creation right here. I have a Catalina cabin with four imps, but almost everything is upgraded. I got four upgraded imps, which will give me a lot less spread because spread is the biggest issue of the imps. I have an upgraded hot red engine, which doesn't do that much. Originally, the cabin power it gives you is 20%, but upgraded, it's 22%, so not that much. And on this creation, I'm also using the blue Tamir cooler and the blue R2 chill radiator because the power score for the epic versions is like 400 
which will make my build go way higher and I'll face a lot more deadlier builds. And that's the main reason why people upgrade the blue cooler and the blue radiator, because your power score becomes a lot lower than having like purple versions on your build. And we all know it's a lot more fun to play powerful items at a lower power score. I don't make the rules, I'll just play the game. Furthermore, this build also has a upgraded ampere generator with less explosion damage, like I mentioned. Having the less damage on your generators is just a must. And also five upgraded omni wheels for less mass and less penalty to the power to the cabin. And all of this makes my build sit at 11,000 power score. Now, the only thing that sucks about upgrading your items is you cannot sell them afterwards. You have to salvage them for a very low amount of resources. So that's the only thing that sucks. But for me, you know, like I mentioned, I'm a veteran player. I play cross out in stages. So when I first started, all I wanted was epic items, then legendary items, and then I wanted to try to get my first relic. After that, I wanted to try to get everything I wanted in the game. And now that I've pretty much gotten everything in the game, I just want to upgrade my items. That's how I play Crossout. I always have a like an end goal for myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, don't go to his channel and write bad comments. You know, let him know what he did wrong and explain stuff to him if you have the time. But just don't go, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope he improves because he is, you know, pretty entertaining. And yeah, hopefully he um, does some more research before he makes more beginner guide and tip videos. That's about it. See ya.